hi guys it's me z money and um this is just a glam cut crease look kind of thing that i've got going on um it's not really a tutorial but i just wanted to show how i do what i do anyway i'll probably do a more in-depth one later on like depending on the perception i get and whatnot but yeah guys enjoy the video i'm gonna be like explaining what's going on anyway but you know enjoy it and oh yeah guys this song is by my faves cold callers um i think it's called summer nights go download it on soundcloud and spotify and all that because it's a really good song <laughs> So right now I'm just using my Colourpop Cosmetics Brow Pomade. I can't remember exactly what the brow pomade is called. Um, it's in the shade black and brown. And yeah, I just apply it on my brows. Black bottom line first and then the top line. And um, yeah, I brush, I don't fill in the front. I do it like a gradient kind of look because I don't like thick brows at the front. So I don't fill in the front. I fill in at least three quarters of it, mainly from the end. And now I'm using my um, LA Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut to clean up my brows. And yeah. <laughs> I was actually dancing throughout this whole video, so don't even mind me if you just see me like bopping and like moving and like talking to the camera. Because <laughs> I wasn't even talking, I was just vibing. That's what I always be doing, but yeah. So now I'm using um, another concealer still by LA Pro, but it's in a way darker shade, um, the shade Dark Cocoa. I think it's the second to, second to darkest shade. Um, I always use a darker concealer on the top of my brows just so it blends in nice in my foundation. I don't really like that halo look too much, like it doesn't really, I just don't really like it so I prefer to use a darker concealer that matches my skin tone a lot more so it looks a bit more natural. Um, yeah, I don't use too much but I always blend it out with like a shadow eyeshadow kind of brush. This, this brush is literally from what, Amazon or eBay, one of those. I've known them packs them like five pound, 10 pound packs, not even 10 pound, but whatever. Oh yeah, here I forgot to put my primer on. <laughs> so I was just like, how? But yeah, I'm using the Angel Veil Primer by NYX Cosmetics. And yeah, I really like the primer to be honest. It, it holds my makeup all day and whatnot. Um, again, cause it's summer and I was going out, I just put um, Sasha Buttercup to like set my face before I do my foundation. I find that it helps with like sweating because when I sweat, I sweat on my upper lip and like on the sides of my nose and it's so annoying. So I always set it with powder first before I apply my foundation. Um, the foundation I'm using is Estee Lauder in the shade Espresso, I believe. I'll double check. In the shade Espresso, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I love this foundation because it actually lasts all day. I think it's probably one of the best foundations you could use in the summer. Even though it has like a matte satin kind of finish, like you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And under that, I was using the Sleek Illuminator in the shade Pompeii, I believe. Again, I'll double check. I just like having it under just to illuminate my face a bit because like I said, this foundation is quite mattifying-ish and I like looking glowy. Like I just love glow. I'm one of them girls that just loves shining. So yeah and i'm just getting rid of the excess with a um a clean damp sponge so now i'm using my la pro concealer in the shade chestnut the same one i used for under my brows to just like kind of conceal slash highlight my under eyes um, I'm just brightening it up a little bit because I like looking kind of bright but this was actually I didn't actually put that much on as I can as I'm looking at right now but um, so yeah I just do it on both sides I I know most people let their concealer set on their face but I have dry skin and it's normally a lot harder for me to blend out my concealer if I let it sit on my face for a couple of seconds but I do do it sometimes but I don't know why I just really do it today but um, yes yeah, so obviously using a clean damp beauty blender um to do my under eyes with the shade chestnut la pro concealer right back to the stool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. i seen your eyes you're looking for this 
so i use the lighter concealer now this is more my highlight stage i use the shade toffee again by la pro concealer and yeah i'm just using that under both of my under eyes just to brighten up a bit more because the chestnut is slightly it's not my shade but it doesn't look that dramatic unless i put loads on so i then just go on with toffee to highlight a bit more i just love any pro concealers like, i've tried other concealers and they're not as thick and as long and lasting and you know such a full coverage as la pro i was actually vibing here don't mind me i don't even know what i was singing to you <laughs> so um i don't contour i slightly reverse contour but again not dramatically like i don't put more concealer under my contour line if that makes sense i just um use the excess from my sponge i haven't really found any because i'm dark skinned and proud <laughs> i haven't found any um contour shades that are actually nice and actually dark enough for me so i just reverse contour um right now i'm just baking not baking sorry i'm setting my face with my powder sasha i use sasha buttercup and i use another powder that's just really quite dark and i mix it together and i don't bake as in leave it on my face like i put on my face and i just keep pressing it in with different sponges so i'm using a real technique sponge to just sorry brush sorry to um just press it in my face more and i'm using this other real technique spot a brush to like dust it off even more just in case and i use this other brush <laughs> to um dust it off because again like i said i'm dry i'm a dry skin person so powders are not really for me they're not really for me so i just set only to keep my makeup on for long so now i'm gonna start with my eyeshadow um i'm using a red and a an orange shade i'm using a red right now by um bh cosmetics the take me to brazil palette i love this palette so much i've had this palette for over a year now it's actually coming up to two years and it has never ever failed me like i just love bright colors like because obviously as you can see i'm dark so bright colors like dull colors don't sit right with me i just like having bright colors because i know how to make it work and yeah so this palette is definitely a great like start starter um colorful palette Morphe 35B as well is equally another good colour, like colourful palette as well. So I'm just going in with an orange shade just over my, the red, just to give it a nice transition between my skin and the red. Because you don't want it to just be mad red and then, you know, like, do you know what I mean? You want it to blend in nicely. So I've blended in from my brow bone and whatnot. Here I'm using a purple and a really small bit of black just to deepen my eyeshadow now to give it more dimension because otherwise it'll just look really flat and as i'm doing a cut crease you want the end to be nice and like 3d like so that it's not looking flat so yeah just the purple and the black and yeah so at this point i'm ready to cut my conceit my crease sorry i'm using la pro again holy grail in the shade cool tan i i'm due to get a nice lighter lighter concealer like a nice like i think creamy beige probably or even um porcelain porcelain whatever um to cut my crease because i know it will definitely give more of the effect i'm looking for but um yeah so i'm using the shade cool tan to cut my crease i'm just using a brush from i think primark it was like one pound it's double ended or one pound fifty just a small flat brush um will give you the look that you want i don't cut my crease all the way to the end as you can see i just i stop a little bit before the end because i don't like I, not i don't like it i just prefer to blend in my shadows again on top to blend it in from the outside i really hope i'm making sense because <laughs> but yeah obviously you guys can see what i'm doing um yeah smoking to the eagles all right um, so yeah, just a little disclaimer. I'm not a makeup artist. I've never pretended to be one. I'm not one. I'd love to be one. Um, I'm still in the process of studying people's faces, so I know how to, you know, work on people's faces. But for now, I just say I'm a makeup enthusiast. So 
Like, don't come for the kid, you know? If you start talking about, oh, you cut your crease wrong, okay. It suits me. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, for real, I'm not a makeup artist. So, this is all just for, like, what I've learned to do on my own face and how I do it. So, now I'm filling in my crease. I used another dark shade, the same, like, blackish purple that I used before at the end of my crease, as you can see. Just to blend in the crease and my shadow again. Um, and then I'm going to take a red shade, the shade red that I used before, with a flat brush, like a flat concealer brush, and I'm packing it on my eyelids. And then obviously I'm going to blend it out afterwards. But yeah, I pack it on first and then I blend it. So now I'm taking my Urban Decay palette, um, Urban Decay Heat, I think. Um, and I'm using the first, first shade to like define my crease a bit more, define the light part of my crease a bit more because it was just looking at like a concealer shade. I wanted it to be lighter and brighter. So I used the first shade, which is a whitish shimmery shade. I'm gonna find out the exact name and I'll put it in the description box and whatnot. And then I'm just taking my glitter, which is from Barry M. It's a very, like, very, very fine glitter, which I love. I love when glitters are nice and fine. Because they're going to look a bit like a shimmer. But, yeah, I just put this on the white part of my eyeshadow. Just to give it some more dimension, because it was just looking a bit plain. Like, this whole look, I proper freestyled it. I didn't, like, I've never done it before. I've done cut creases before, but this particular, like, the blender and whatnot, I hadn't. So I was just freestyling, and it didn't look that nice to me. Not that it didn't look nice, but I knew it could be better. So that's why I put glitter on top. And, um, yeah, I was just getting rid of the excess glitter. Normally, whenever I do a glitter look, I do my eyeshadow before my face, but, you know, it's not that deep. Um, I'm now using my eyeliner by Maybelline at Master Ink. I love this eyeliner, but I actually don't really like doing cat eyes, cat winged eyeliner, so I don't like doing that too much because, I don't know, I'm just not that great at it. I know practice makes perfect, but I like just lining it just to keep it, just to make my waterline darker and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I did a cat eye. Sorry, why do I keep calling it a cat eye? A winged eyeliner. Um, I didn't really show how I put my lashes on only because I'm ass at it. <laughs> it's a hit or miss like i know how to do it but showing how i do it is just really messy so i just didn't really want to show it too tough and my mirror is blocking it a lot anyway so i'm sorry about that also apologies for the lighting i know it's not the best and i know it could be a lot brighter but i'm gonna sort that out in the next video and whatnot but for now my apologies so yeah these lashes um i can't even tell you where i got them from because i don't know but they're just really cute and you know they do the job now i'm about to oh i'm doing my brow bone so i love my highlight my brow bone that's like my signature thing like i never don't highlight my brow bone i was using my abh glow kit the shade mimosa i believe again description box um just to highlight my brow bone and i put some on top of my nose and on my nose as well um, I then just use one of my Morphe brushes, it's like an eyeshadow kind of brush, and just blend it out so it's not too harsh and like blends in with my shadow quite nicely. And yeah, I also was putting the same highlight that I used in my Tear Ducks because I love doing that. I just love that glowy, glowy. I just like looking glowy, guys. I probably do. <laughs> um, I don't know what I was singing to, dancing to, ignore me. Um, I'm highlighting again, highlight my face with the same ABH glow kit. I would definitely, if you have this glow kit, you already know how pigmented it is, so you really can't use too much. And I don't really highlight too tough anyway. Um, now I am lining my lips with a black liner because I don't really find nice dark brown shades for me and my skin tone, so I just use black. But obviously, I don't use mad, like mad liner, I just put them off. Um, I'm then using my Revolution lip palette. It has loads of different colours in it. I don't know the exact name, but again, description box. And so obviously I lined my lips with the black and then I'm going to use that pinkish 
shade from the revolution palette and put it in the middle of my lips to ombre it a little bit and then i just added a gloss from the hair shop that's like what one pound like something like that um i'm just beauty spotting my face a little bit um i don't know what i'm fanning because i don't think i put any set spray on at this time so i don't know what's still going on there but yeah but yeah guys this is the finished look um thank you so much for watching i hope you guys subscribe like share comment all the, all of that all of that um yeah and i'm gonna definitely bring out some more videos soon i hope i can do loads this whole summer and whatnot but thank you Show me a little this, show me a little that. She said she gon' love it if I do a little rap. I was lack, you know, brother, don't slack. Whoever